Alrighty, guys. Welcome, everyone. The message is beautiful. It's regeneration time. We literally go within. We cut pieces of our old selves, our old karmic patterning. We cut away the darkness. And now we must regenerate from that painful experience because we're losing pieces of ourselves. And many of us are losing pieces of people, places, things, and habits. Environments. It's, or, it's in order to shift us so that we make it to where we're making it. We're making it home. Our home, the heart. And it's all about the activation between this space and this space. And the key being the high priestess and the comic. We're going to need some humor when we're balancing out our dark with our light. And we really need to to take care of ourselves while we are regenerating. Now let's just see what the messages are. We need that sword right now. We need that sword. The less that we have to swing it, as we know, the we're not going to have to regenerate as much. Okay. The five of pentacles. And it's also about forgiving ourselves if we do. Okay, go put that over there, please, and thank you. Apologize, guys. We're feeling still dense. We're still feeling burdened. We haven't transformed here. This, the energy of the lack of, of the pain, of the disconnect, we're not letting go here. We're not letting go to have clarity to connect to the crown and the third eye. We need to let go, connect, third eye, crown, and there, the hanged man, that's the vision that they showed me. They showed me the vision of the hanged man leaving. Exiting this space. That's what's going to be next. And now we're allowing the transformation of the light. And we're allowing the light to recalibrate us. To recenter us. To rebalance us. To... Allow us rebirth. We're reborn here. This is where it all happens. But this is a painful process. This is not easy. But this, this is a grand, grand transformation. A grand transformation. Like, I love too, you can see the energy of this right here. We're talking about the burning away of the forest in order to nurture, in order to make it in a more nurturing space. For life, for creation, for what's next, for change, because we become stagnant, and we know that this that we're not we're no longer in the energy of the Taurus. We want to remain in the energy of the Taurus, and we know we are creating with the same patterns of life, because that is the second part to this message. The High Priestess, and there's confirmation right there. We've become connected, and this is connection to the feminine. It's healing with the feminine energies. And this can be masculine healing with the feminine, and feminine healing with the feminine. But this, can, this restores connection and fertility of life. We also know the Priestess is the feminine energy. So we're healing. And that's why we're not able to let go here. 
We're not able to let go in this five of pentacles because the masculine and feminine are not working together to heal the feminine energies within and without. The feminine will rise and in doing so the masculine will rise and it will be equality because the template for the most part of the feminine has been dominated by the masculine that's where right there where we are changing things it's equality it's friendship this nightingale is calling on a friendship It's a relationship. And these two birds are related. For sure. And this is all has to do with that annular eclipse when the new moon is in Capricorn. The tower. And this is where everything comes apart in order to be created. But we're not spiraling the white the right way the white way the right way guys we're not spiraling the the right way i've only had half a cup of caffeine caffeinated coffee in 2 weeks and now i've moved on to tea cuz i'm i'm really purifying and you know i'm still finding how to rework the system so thanks for bearing with me guys now we need to allow things to break apart with the light here this is allowing this tower to break this apart just have the tower moments this is this the apocalypse allow it i'll just allow it as quick like a band-aid because that's what sets us free in the hangman. And there we go. I didn't pick up those two cards for a reason. It's temperance. We know temperance is the energy of Sagittarius right now. The moon being in Sagittarius. And look at that. The nine of swords. We're freeing ourselves from the nine of swords. We've expanded. Seeing through our illusions. Okay, so this is where things need to, cha to change and shift. We need to use the energies of the feminine in the high priestess in order to balance, in order to find the information. But then we need to allow the masculine now to be tempered. We must add the masculine energy in order to begin filling back up the cup and allow ourselves connection to the crown. And in doing so, this is where the feminine energy is freed. And the masculine and feminine are restored here. This is part of the regeneration. It's like I can see the split apart to come back together. This is activating the crown and the third eye at the same time. And we see through our illusions of what's in the cup. We connect yin and yang in flow. This is the water and fire energies of creation. We're activated here now and there's the king of cups. And I really feel like this is the masculine and feminine energy coming together. Within this cup, king of cups card. The king of cups is the nurturer. But we've tempered ourselves here. We've gone deep within the cave and we've allowed our emotions to free flow here their sacral chakra healing their solar plexus healing was connected to the heart all the way to the crown let's get a reshuffle where are we connecting back to the feminine energies the moon that's why we needed a reshuffle. We need to change up the energy. So we're reconnecting back on the path of the moon. And this is yin and yang and flow. This is the reflection of true love. 
We are listening to our authentic self. We've let go here. We've transformed. And we've let the fires burn away what needed to be burned away here. We're, this is where we exit this space in the hanged man. We've transformed on the path of the moon. And this is, this is our regeneration. Yeah, this is our regeneration. Because what we're doing is we're going to use the sword of clarity to cut ourselves free from the devil energies. It's right here. We're going to use our sword of clarity to cut ourselves free. We're going to cut ourselves free of those devil energies. And that devil, just going to take that sword. We're going to take back what's ours. We're going to take back what's ours. And that's the connection between the masculine and feminine, the unity we end the separateness between us. To connect and be the koi fishes swimming upstream to turn into the dragons. Healed, transformed as one. So we have an opportunity for growth. Mamma mia. And there it is. Balance. And that's what we settled to achieve. Healing. The shaman energy. Balanced. And this is freeing this. We free what's ours and it's our light. It's our connection. It's love. We're freeing love. We're freeing love from the darkness. This is happening within. They've also shown me the hermit. And the hermit is right here. And like it, it has to, this is happening within. A battle royale happening within. And what are we cutting away within? So that and bringing that light deep within our core and allowing ourselves to regenerate, to feel, to feel what we need to feel, to see what we need to see because now the unknown has come to light. Nothing is hidden. All that's hidden now is the gift of self. There it is, the four of wands. The place we're creating. Ooh, hello. I see weddings. I see parties. I see futures. I see children playing, families coming together. I see celebration. I see feeling good, feeling good fun in the sun and daydreaming like this is what's sitting out celebrating looking at the sky understanding the sky had so much to do with our reactivation to the earth and there's the nine of wands the card of the wounded warrior this is where we're doing we're setting ourselves free from this cage that's what this whole process has been about setting ourselves free from the cage Hmm. The six of cups and the eight of discs. With the tower and the nine of cups. And the chariot and the hermit. There he is again. With the cosmic egg of transformation. Oh, the seven of discs and the eight of discs. Masculine and feminine connecting 
through the pentacles energy the grounding of our wishes and working on attaining them this is 3d 5d what's happening it's the six of cups the restoration of innocence and this is where we are really going to regenerate this is where connection is created but this is through the fall the fall of what needed to fall through the tower and this is what we did here with our sword we just cut it free pain as painless as possible even though this transformation many of them are causing great deal of pain we reconnect to our wishes our true desires and this is I really feel like the connection of the masculine and feminine, the hermit energies and the nine of cups. And we know there's the cosmic egg right there and the serpent around it. And we are within that. And we are transforming. And we're about to bust on out of there with those chariot energies. Dark and light, yin and yang in flow. The creation of the path that wasn't there before. And look at, look at the energies that are behind us. They have our back. The energies of the light. The energies of creation. Because we let that fire burn away what it needed to burn. And now that fire has become a part of us. That fire has become a part of us. The three of discs. The five of swords. The sun. The teacher. No. fire is blazing we got the ace of cups and the ace of discs beautiful and now we have the strength and the courage to ground our heavens on earth we just understand what's happening here And this is what we freed. Our wish. This is the fountain. Like the fountain we make the wishes from. When you make a wish. Like you make a wish upon a star. We freed our, we freed our wish. We freed it. Let's see how. How do we free our wish? How do we free our wish? Okay, not these cards apparently. How do we free our wish? Alright, guys, I'm feeling like these cards need a reshuffle too. Let's get some new energy in here. It's because my energy's off. My energy's a little off. I always get a little frantic when I don't want these readings to be too long because I really want you guys. I, I try to really be respectful of your time but i also want to get the messages and keep myself centered barn owl love approaches unexpectedly and there's the messenger of the birds love approaches unexpectedly southern casserine oh i think i did not say that right spread seeds of love and creativity and see them blossom and this is the, what i'm seeing in the celebrations this is coming together of people uniting and creating new family, new family circles. And this is what I've really been shown. You know, a lot of people speak about, you hear um, the masculine and feminine come together when their energies are an authentic vibration, authentic tune, and they're like magnets. But it's deeper than that, the transformation, because we're restoring flow and we're restoring flow for the collective and we're healing a lot more than we think we are. What has to be happened too, yes, our energies come into alignment, but then the energies that we're healing with, those energies have to be raised up too and have to come into alignment because this is a really big process. We know we're connected. And we're raising up the people that we're connected with too. Even if we can't see it or understand what's happening, we are raising the energy for the collective because we're lifting us all up and restoring flow. And it's not this pretty little picture, this 
you know, movie, like we've been fed to believe. This is more like there's times where there's darker parts of the story and there's many chapters in another book and, you know, like five sequels. This is a process. But it's a process that's worthwhile because we're achieving something. We are achieving something. We're achieving what we set out to achieve, which is love. We're freeing love back up. We're creating these beautiful, holistic healing templates, these new environments that allow harmonization, creative energy, creative flow, shape shifting, evolution, expansion. You see how hard it is for it to for to change. Nobody likes change, but and when we do change, I don't want to say no one because there are people that thrive off that stuff. But for the most part, people like just things to stay the same, but they can't stay the same. And even I'm reminding myself that sometimes too. You know, I just want things to stay the same in my own right. But, you know, we, we seek discomfort like those lovely guys on YouTube that we talked about here and discussed a couple times. And I've been really watching a lot of episodes with my brother just healing in my spare time, connecting with him. And, you know, they just do the most off-the-wall thing, but there's the most heartfelt messages. And me and him will both be like tears falling out of our eyes. I'm like, yeah, I felt that, man. I felt that, too. And how they're just coming together. The fault line and arrows. Well, look at that. Hmm. The fissure, the crack the weak link imagine walking across a frozen lake that begins to crack before your eyes no matter how optimistic and brave you might be panic ensures you become fearful and tense and long for stable ground such is the energy of the fault line it's the energy of walking on eggshells of precarious dynamics of sensing what is ready to break open into chaos it's likely this cracking open is overdue as fault lines develop slowly and naturally from underlying elemental pressures. This card comes as a potent warning not to, de to deny the shakiness that's afoot. It's much better to prepare yourself for change than to walk along the fault line pretending all is well. There is no easy fix for the situation at hand. It will require a foundational shift that alters the current dynamics from the ground up. We're redefining reality, breaking open. In, mm, this is all about in Japanese pottery too. Gold is used to mend cracks. Breaks are thought of as precious rather than something to be hidden. And this is also about things that loved ones have said that have caused us to crack open. And we revisit the cracks in order to heal. And this is what we're doing. I found that's incredible. You know, we're under pressure here and there is a diamond. But we're cracking open and we know the night song, this beautiful red bird here, has given us, us the message that this gift we're about to unwrap is within us. It's within ourselves. And now we've come full circle. We're being initiated again. Eros, love as desire, eroticism, sensuality. Though Eros can be depicted as unbridled sexuality and eroticism a more contemplative understanding of this archetypical energy leads us to the root of desire itself what do we long for why are we awakened by love what makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy eros reconnects us with the primal longing to merge with another human being nature music art plants food or anything that we perceive we are separate from from eros allows us to momentarily unite our heart embrace oh wow it, it embraces otherness and in doing so we further understand our own our life force awakens this card reveals an inevitable initiation into love's labyrinth 
you may find yourself swirling in a new territory of desire and sensuality. Explore the labyrinth with a curious and honest heart. And remember, though the way is circuitous, you are always being led toward its center. Passion, playfulness, sexual health. And this is about allowing that inner goddess energy to allow us sensuality. Masculine too. We go within and connect to that feminine energy and allow ourselves to be sensual, to be in play. To be softer, to be more vulnerable, to be activated. We activate to see the beauty and the truth in the world. And that's what we're doing here. Even though this process, you know, is dark and it's painful, we're being activated to see the truth and the beauty within the world. And it's all to, connected to the energy of the caduceus or the kundalini. And what we're doing here, it's achieving holistic health. And we're achieving holistic health on a grand, grand scale. Which is why I love being here to do what I do. This is also a truth being set free from our mouth. From our throat chakra. The water wheel. Look and the wheel turns. This is the wheel. The wheel is about to turn. And what we're freeing, this is emotional freedom as well. It's emotional freedom and once again it's connected to the earth and to the sky. And it's connected to the cave, the darkness within our hearts that we're healing from. All right. And there it is. We have got the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups. And they're meeting up. It's to talk about love and the Ten of Cups and what's being created as we heal. And there it is. We're healing from the Three of Swords. Our pain, our heartbreak, we have to let go of that. And that's why we need that one sword, the Sword of Clarity, the Sword of the Light. And there it is, the Ten of Cups. We're freeing ourselves. We're freeing ourselves there. With the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. We already know we're being what we're being gifted. We're doing this work to be gifted. We're doing this work right now to be gifted our Ace, our desires, our wishes, our dreams. And we're going to throw them in the fountain. We're throwing them within this fountain. And we've created stability of the light with the Ace of Wands. With our connection to God. To creation. To the fire power. And it was through learning what fire can actually do. What it can burn away. And how, how that process of burning away allows creation. The destruction before the creation, right? And it was to create the Two of Cups. We let go. We create the equality. We set free. We set free with the light. We set free on the set free on the path of the moon. I want to thank you guys for joining me here to heal, harmonize, and raise the vibes. Much love and healing vibes sent your way to create with today. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.